family, friends, and community members gathered in St. Catharines today for a round dance to honor the life of Heather Winterstein, a young Indigenous woman who died at a St. Catharines hospital last year. As Manise Danabalan tells us, the community has been calling for a coroner's inquest into her death. Singing, drumming, and a round dance for Heather Winterstein. According to her family, Winterstein went to the emergency room with severe back pain on December 9th. Her mother says the staff gave her Tylenol and told her to go home. She returned the next day when the pain intensified, but her family says she was left in the waiting room until she collapsed. She died that night from group strep A, a flesh-eating disease. Her mother and community members feel her death could have been prevented. She was, um, she was part of a marginalized group that she was a recovering addict as well. Um, it was unfortunate that um, that my feeling is, is that there was a judgment made about her, which resulted in her unfortunate passing. We're forced to rely on a colonial health care system that does not value us as human beings. And then there's interrelated issues with Indigenous people, such as homelessness and drug abuse and addictions, which are um, compounding um, aspects of why um, health care might discriminate against them. A coroner's investigation that was launched still isn't complete. Niagara Health conducted their own internal review earlier this year and shared the findings with the family. This week, in memory of Heather Winterstein, Niagara Health is beginning an external assessment of the emergency department to improve patient care and experiences for Indigenous people. Francine Shimizu is happy that they're taking these steps. Super panel of um, professionals. I'm hoping as a result of this, there's going to be some super change. I'm very appreciative of Lynn Guerrero's um, efforts. Um, I believe she's got a very good heart. The assessment will conclude in mid-2023 with a public report of findings and recommendations that will help support a high-performing emergency department that provides quality care for Indigenous people. But the family and community say more needs to be done, including a coroner's inquest. According to the Office of the Chief Coroner, a decision hasn't been made yet. In a statement, they say inquests generally only take place when all other investigations and any prosecutions have been conducted. I feel like this stuff should be dealt with more quickly and appropriately. Well, I think the hospital, as well as the federal and provincial government, should be moving forward on um, calls to action in the TRC. No matter how poor, no matter what problems, no matter addiction, the type of employment you have, you deserve proper care in the Niagara Health System. They're also working on passing a law named after Heather, where no Indigenous person should be segregated and not attended to in the emergency room due to their heritage. Manisa Danabalan, CHCH News.